Hello everyone, Beata here and welcome back to Getting to Know Fibers and Fabrics Season 1. Today we are looking at viscose. Today is the very first day in this series where we're not covering a synthetic fiber, not a natural fiber, but something in between. Viscose is known to be a semi-synthetic fiber. Reason being, it comes from a natural source, which is wood pulp, but it does go through a process where lots of toxic chemicals are used, a man-made process, in order to transform the wood pulp into fibers. Therefore, viscose is a semi-synthetic fiber. The wood pulp used is usually from beech, pine or eucalyptus, but can also be made from bamboo. Viscose was first produced in the late 1800s as an alternative to silk. Silk was getting extremely expensive. The silk industry went through quite a dip and therefore viscose came into the market as an alternative to silk. As mentioned, the wood pulp goes through a chemical process. A few steps follow and this almost like a gooey, um, pulpy, um, thick substance gets, gets pushed through a similar device that we've seen in some of these synthetic fibers called a spinneret. The viscose solution is forced through a spinneret, which is a machine that creates filaments called regenerated cellulose. This regenerated cellulose is spun into yarn, which can be woven or knit into a viscose fabric. We see so many different types of viscose these days. You'll be surprised if you have a look inside of that little label that I showed you of where to check what the fabric is made out of. Um, as to how many different textures and different colors and different um, feels and looks and things can be created from viscose. It is something that you'll see in your sleepwear, in outer garments, even underwear, sportswear, and so on. The list just continues. Let's look at a few examples of viscose. First of all, again, I'm wearing a viscose item, so I'm gonna bring it up close. You'll see that the texture um, is somewhat, I'd say, quite different to what we've seen, um, but it's got beautiful colors, and I must say, I'm very impressed um, as to how the color lasted on this top. This is a top that I've owned for five years now, and I've worn it every summer, and I must say the color is doing very, very well. A similar texture and look is this dress with a very loud, almost not really polka dot, but dotted print. This type of viscose is not completely, completely smooth. It's almost got a bit of a crepe kind of um, feel to it. This dress is a great example of what a smoother viscose can look like. You'll see it's almost got a little bit I don't want to say a silky finish because it's not as shiny and smooth as silk but it's definitely quite close to that type of feeling. This is a short um, evening dress I'd say um, so it definitely gives a very nice texture to evening wear or any type of more formal wear. Lastly is this pair of pants. I'll pop up a picture of what they look like on. This is a pair of pants that I made myself and I would say this is probably closest to what um, the traditional form of viscose will look like. It almost looks like a type of cotton. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it up close in the camera really and imagine what the feel is going to be like but I, I think the picture might do a better job at, at that. But you can see it's very, very lightweight, almost a little bit transparent, as you can see, light going through it. An extremely lightweight fabric. Let's look at the general pros. As you've seen in the pants especially, it is extremely lightweight. It is an affordable fabric. It drapes really well. Again, the pants show that I'd say the best out of all of them. The fabric is highly absorbent, which makes it a great summer fabric as well. It is highly breathable. I'd say you can compare it to something such as cotton. The texture is quite soft. Again, you can get different textures in viscose and the pants being definitely on the softer side of the different viscose types that we've had a look at today. And the fabric maintains its shape quite well. 
Cons, it is not very durable. You can't really compare it to something such as jeans um, or any very thickly woven cotton. It definitely does not resemble that. It's definitely more of a lightweight drapey material, therefore not durable. The fabric can shrink, especially in the beginning. Make sure to wash it at the correct temperatures. And the fabric can wrinkle. Environmental pros, it dyes very easily. So it absorbs color very well, therefore it doesn't have to go through multiple processes of dyeing. Environmental cons, it definitely contributes to deforestation and we see that a lot. As mentioned before, viscose is becoming more and more popular and therefore more and more trees are obviously cut down. Um, because it is a semi-synthetic fiber, lots of toxic chemicals are used in the production of viscose. And this also contributes to air pollution and then water pollution. Lastly, lots of water is used in the process of manufacturing viscose, therefore there is a lot of water waste. Viscose definitely feels better on the skin in comparison to synthetic fibers, but you have to remember it is still semi-synthetic and there is still lots of bad toxic chemicals used in the production of viscose. That is all for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I really hope that this series can be um, some sort of entertainment during this extremely tough time worldwide. And I hope that you are staying safe. I hope that you are staying home and I hope that you are staying healthy. Thank you guys. Cheers.